Hi, I'm Jenny and welcome back to my channel. If you've been here before, if you're new, welcome. I'm so happy that you're here. Today is a different kind of uh, video. I'm actually doing an unboxing. Um, I think in another video I told you that I've been buying pallets. I actually ordered Amazon returns this time and I did it online and had it shipped. So they've disassembled the pallet and they're in separate boxes. So this is the first of uh, three boxes um, for a total of, I think, 67 items, something like that. Um, so anyway, I just wanted to bring you along, show you what I'm doing. So I opened this up already and then I, before I decided to bring you along, <laughs> I've unboxed a couple things here. So it looks like um, an Apple Apple watch band with protector, uh, good old fashioned pencil sharpener. Looks like some uh, headphones. And you know when you when you buy anytime you buy pallets of things, you take the chance of some things being broken or not working and you can't sell them and you know you have to we have to go to the dump once a month and, and um, throw a lot of things away <laughs> so that kind of sucks um, if it's something that I can fix or my husband can fix we definitely do that all right I don't know what this is deep cool it's some kind of fan Okay, some kind of fan. I don't know fan for what. <laughs> Looks like waterproof phone case. I don't know for what phone. I'll have to look inside. I have no idea. Oh, iPhone. Okay, so a waterproof case for iPhone 11. So that's good. That's something I could sell. Um, looks like some ink cartridges. What is this? A cord. A cord for I have no idea. <laughs> I hope the other boxes have some better stuff in it than this. <laughs> looks like, oh, an Otterbox. These are good uh, phone cases. So Autobox phone case, and it's for a Samsung Galaxy. That should sell. Those things are expensive. My husband always buys those for his phones. Um, let's see here. And charging stations. Wireless charging stands for your phones. Those are nice. And it looks like, oh geez, another pencil sharpener. Because if you don't have two pencil sharpeners, <laughs> so this is a big heavy duty pencil sharpener. Hope it works. A toner. Um, this is ADJ. I don't know what ADJ is. It looks like it's some kind of lighting control. Oh, it's a DMX lighting control app for your iPad or Android. Cool. Tabletop switch with braided cord. 
wall mount, tabletop, oh, on and off switch. So you can just hit the button easily. Kind of like what you have on your floor lamps in your living room. Um, looks like, oh, a Casio watch. Cute. These were big in the 80s. I remember. <laughs> I don't know how big they're going to be now since, you know, everybody has an Apple watch. <laughs> Some 10-year-old's going to love, 5-year-old's going to love that. Um, looks like Xbox Afterglow. And, wow. What is this? Oh, <laughs> this is a counterfeit detection system for money. Kind of cool, I guess, right? We'll see if it works. Um, marker pens. Probably not even a full set. It doesn't feel like it. No. So, usually when I get stuff like this, it ends up in my craft room. <laughs> Somebody will use it. Wow. Look at this. A whole bag of pens. I don't know if that's worth $180, but this box was $180 and I had to pay for shipping. This is the first time I ordered an Amazon return box that I had to have shipped. So this is more like a test palette than anything to see if it's worth it. Um, what is this? I have no idea. It's some cords, a charger. This is a charger that goes into your um, lighter place in your car. Lighter place. It used to be where you put your lighter. Now they're just built in for those chargers. Um, it's a lighting car charger from Amazon. And another Otter Box. Awesome. And another uh, charging pad. And what is this? Ooh, a ventilated laptop stand. Very nice. Just looks like those basic um, black wire office gear. And I know what this is. Toner. So that's everything that was in this box. I hope the other boxes are better. There's a couple good things in here, um, but I'm hoping the, I'm really hoping the other boxes have better stuff in them. So I'm not gonna put this video up until those boxes come and they should be here some point next Monday. Um, so I will probably upload this video next Monday night if they come. If not, it'll be on Tuesday. Hopefully you can see me okay. I don't have any extra uh, lighting on today. <laughs> So, um, this is Tuesday afternoon, and my boxes ended up coming last night, so Monday night instead of during the day. And I've opened them, and I'm going to show you what's in here. There's a lot of junk in here. I didn't get real lucky this time. So, it looks like a dog barking system. Stop, stop dogs barking. A trainer, wire, um, wireless fence system. Um, I don't know that this will be worth anything. I'll probably end up throwing this away. Not to mention that's cruel. <laughs> Looks like a big ripped box of ovulation tests, huh? Bunch of colored pencils. A postal scale, way uh, meter, way uh, mail. <clears throat> um, a box of toner cartridges in color. So 
So that's good. That I will be able to sell. Uh, Netgear Smart Wi-Fi Router. This I'll be able to sell. House numbers. Solar. Solar house numbers. Solar activated. <laughs> Display port, HDMI cable, some thread, a wallet slayer, looks like a phone case, lighting cable, an adapter. Wi-Fi LED lighting controller. Um, I have no clue. But this looks like a zip string. Remember uh, those little cars that you would put that zip string in and then you'd zip it out and then they'd go? That's what this looks like. <laughs> Except it's missing the car. <laughs> Looks like some little speakers. Battery chargers. A battery charger. Um, a circuit breaker. More ovulation test. Um, this is, looks like a Android, kind of like a Amazon, what do you call those things? Like a fire stick kind of thing, but made by Android. I should be able to sell that. 2020 at a glance. Now, why would somebody return something like this to Amazon? I mean, did they start writing out their year and decide they didn't like how their year was going? So. They sent it back to get a new one to rewrite their year. This gives you some ideas. <laughs> oh good, some more cable. I have a lot of Amazon Basics cables. <laughs> I guess it's better than plumbing supplies, huh? I'll just leave that in there. And this. What is this? I don't know what this is. Mm, I have no clue. None. And a bunch of business source purple envelopes, purple folders. <laughs> All right. Ugh. So, um, a couple good things in there. But a lot of it's just junk. I'm probably just going to toss it. Like, how am I going to sell some ovulation tests? I don't know. Who's going to want a box of open purple folders? Okay, so in this box, some laser print paper. It's been open though. So I probably won't be able to sell that. Um, well... An opened, beat up box of 9 by 12 envelopes. Woo! It looks like it's five years old. <laughs> Somebody probably thought, found it in the closet and said, oh, we never use this. We'll send it back. Um, so another smart Wi-Fi router. Um, this one has not been opened at all. It looks like some of the plastics swished off over here, but otherwise it's sealed. So I should be able to sell that. Cable creations, more cables and cords. Um, oh good, some paper is not in a box. <laughs> a vacuum cleaner part to a hose. Yuck, that's going in the garbage. Uh, more ink cartridges, that's fine. I can sell those. 
This is some microscope slides. A mini stylus for your phone. Or your Palm Pilot if you still use one. <laughs> um, toner cartridge. This looks like it's been... Oh, nope. The, looks like the, just the box was damaged. Everything's still closed up inside. That's good. I can sell that. And a little rolly craft cart. A tiny one. Hmm. I might keep that seen my sewing room. I'm in dire need of some organization. The rest of that paper is in there. So um, that is it for this palette. So this is the palette I bought from Vegas online. I'm in Phoenix so it had to be shipped down here and it cost me $83 to ship it from there here and they took the palette apart, divided it into three boxes and ship to them UPS. So, I don't know that I will do that again. Um, I seem to have better luck either buying palettes here in Phoenix that I can go physically pick up, even though a lot of them did contain like a lot of plumbing supplies and electrical supplies. A friend of ours ended up going and sitting at the flea market and selling all that stuff. I guess he said an electrician came in, a plumber came in, and they bought all those parts. They were all brand new, so, um, he gave him a deal on boxes of the, that stuff. So so that did sell and that is good. But I think I'll have to stick to buying pallets here. The shipping was really expensive. So all together with the shipping and handling and my buyer's fee that I have to pay ordering from Vegas, it ended up coming to $277. And there's a lot of junk in here. So if you ever decide that you're going to buy and sell pallets, um, Amazon returns, things like that, kind of watch your shipping. Um, because for some reason, you know, this is Phoenix. We have two Amazon, we have two Amazon distribution centers here, but we don't have an Amazon returns center where we can buy pallets from. We have to get them from Vegas, which makes zero sense to me, <laughs> but they are spread out through the United States. So it's kind of a cool thing. You know, you, I mean, you find some things that you want to keep and, you know, as long as you can make your money back or hopefully make a profit on it kind of fun. And then I have my table is full of these table runners. So this is a project I am working on for a friend. These table runners she bought 20 years ago in Costa Rica from the Baruca tribes. She had them, she had a deal with them if they made as many as they could that um, they would come pick them up and then she had a kiosk in the mall and these are what she didn't sell but she loves them so much she kept them and i am going to be sewing these together to make a rug for her for her room so those are they're beautiful really beautiful they're all handmade hand woven hand dyed using bugs snails plants you name it whatever they can find in their village it's kind of awesome but here's a little card that tells you about it so that's another project I'm working on. This is a busy house. Okay, well that's all for this video of my Vegas palette that I got shipped. Kind of a test, first one I ever ordered from Vegas. Don't know if I'll do it again, I'll have to wait and see. I will keep an eye on the auction and see what else is available, but it's kind of pricey to ship. Well, it looks like I've got to get busy listing some things and tossing some other things. If you enjoyed the video, please give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. It really helps me out, and I sure do appreciate your support. And while you're down there hitting the subscribe button, don't forget to ring the little bell for notifications. It will let you know every time I have a video come out. You can actually pick the frequency that you would like. If you like these kind of videos, let me know. Um, if you don't and you want me to stick to the cooking videos, I can definitely do that. <laughs> I have a lot more cooking videos coming and canning videos. Um, so it's January. January is always a good month to can. So I'll be doing a lot of that too this month. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.